In today's episode on the Maurus Films channel, we are going to take a look into new affordable LED tubes from Willite. And these are the Willite K21 RGB LED sticks. And yes, I have three of them and we'll go straight into an in-depth review, get all the specs and features about these LED tubes and understand if these LED tubes are made for your production. Lately we are seeing a lot of manufacturers going out with their new budget versions of LED tube sticks and LED tube lights. And this is actually good, because if you want to beat the competition, you have to be better. And every time a manufacturer goes out with a new light, it has to be better than the others or actually have some features that the other doesn't have and actually have a design and actual specs that can actually beat or be in pair with the others. And yes, I have already used them in my previous reviews where they were acting as in my colorful background. It was the Xeon Crane 2MS review, so you can check them out and actually understand how they worked in my background scenario. This tube light is delivered in this simple carton box and inside you will find warranty card and user manual, USB-C charging cable and the light tube itself. The light tube has a dimension of 30 centimeters, 270 grams of weight with the built-in internal battery capacity of 2500 mA. That's enough for 60 minutes of max power light delivery. The max power output of the LED light is 8 watts. The charging time for a full battery is about 3 hours. And yes, you can run it while charging, extending the time of the light source. The LED tube is made out of plastic with magnetic ends, so you can have more creative ways on how to use them and attaching them to metal rails, cars, or anything that's metal. On both ends you'll find one quarter screw mount, so yes you can attach them easily to your tripods or anything that uses one quarter screw mounts. The LED tubes can be controlled in two ways, firstly using the buttons and the OLED screen to control all the functions, or alternatively and my favorite way is using the smartphone app. Yes, you are able to navigate through all the settings with the sets of buttons on the LED tubes. CCT, HSL, RGB white and scenes. Actually, it's easy and simple to navigate through all the effects, but using the app makes your experience even better while using it. So we'll run down on the app all the effects. CCT with the Kelvin value from 2500 kelvins up to 8500 kelvins and minus plus 10 GN. Under it there are also some shortcuts for the standard Kelvin values presets. HSL 360 degree color picker with saturation and intensity mode. RGB white mode with all the colors. And first time seeing each white coordinates in any RGB light so far that I used. Color, gel modes, Roscoe or Lee. Effects, flash, burst, flash lamp, blink, weld, SOS, candlelight, flame, CCT loop, fire, TV, fireworks, police, ambulance, fire truck, RGB loop, romantic, club, and different waves of colors with the speed and light intensity. You are also able to pick your desired color via your smartphone app and match it with your smartphone camera in a matter of seconds. Pretty useful to create your own scenes respectively. Being so light you can actually pack a couple of these LED tubes in your backpack and be ready to go and make your effects outside in the field without any problems. The price point is 70 USD, 69.99, and it's kinda in the middle of the price range of this kind of LED tube lights of around 30 centimeters. But with the great amazing smartphone app and the simple bright OLED screen, this is actually a great buy. The layout is simple and intuitive, I'm seeing that they are learning from the competitors to implement all the best features and actually stay relatively low in price. Well, I can't say anything bad about this light. Well, yes, I know I would like to actually have a bigger battery inside, so this at max power gets around 2 hours rather than 1 hour. But well, yes, I understand the manufacturing costs and actually the price would be higher if they got so. I don't plan to use anywhere near the 100% max output of these LED tubes because right now these three LED tubes are just at 1% and also in my previous reviews when I made the test with them, they were also at 1%. 
So yes, you can actually run down them the whole day without having an issue to recharge them. Yes, I am recommending them for a smaller studio and effect production. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will be happy to answer all of them. Until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.